Hi guys, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I am here with my IMATS haul, finally. I know IMATS was like, was it last weekend or the weekend before? I don't know. Girl, I can't even keep track of time. Um, but yeah, I wanted to film my IMATS haul for you guys because I think I do every year since I started my YouTube. Um, I've been going to IMATS since before I started my channel. I love going to IMATS. Um, I go almost every year. I didn't go last year because I was nine months pregnant and about to give birth. So I didn't go last year and I really missed it. And I think that's what made me more excited this year. Like I was just anticipating it. I was just like really, oh, I was excited. So um, I did some damage. Not as bad as I thought I was going to do. I had some self-control. So I have the stuff I got at IMATS. And then after IMATS, me and my girls went to Sephora. I know and we got a few things so I'm going to include that stuff and like just a couple um, things I got online like from Sephora and um, Nick so I'm just going to include that in the haul because it's not much uh, what else did I want to tell you guys I didn't vlog IMATS I got a lot of questions if I was vlogging at IMATS and I didn't get to vlog number one my camera was in the shop being repaired because it dropped and the lens got screwed up so I didn't have my camera number one and number two, I kind of just wanted to be in the moment. Like, I just wanted to enjoy the experience because I really missed going last year. And I just wanted to have fun and shop around. I wish I stayed longer, honestly. So I really just wanted to enjoy myself. And I didn't want to worry about having a camera filming or paying attention to what I'm vlogging and all that stuff. I just wanted to have fun. I didn't want to pay attention to any of that stuff. And a big shout out and thank you to the girls that said hi to me at IMATS. Um, I love you guys. Thank you for coming up to me and saying hi. I think that's it. That's enough rambling. We're we're gonna jump right into this haul okay i know everyone is doing a, their thumbnail with this bag because this has to be the cutest bag at imax this was violet voss's bag i did stop at violet voss because i knew i wanted glitters and i knew i wanted lashes but um i wound up just throwing all my bags in this bag because this happened to be the biggest one i had so we might as well start with violet voss right so i went into imax like knowing i wanted lashes from Violet Voss, so I did pick up a few. I didn't pick up as many as I thought I was just because I feel like the discount for the lashes wasn't that great. I just remember thinking that's pretty much what I pay anyway at Ricky's. Like, I didn't see much of a discount. So, some of my favorites are I Want It That Way, I Need You, which is definitely my favorite style of lash. Um, when it's longer in the middle and then at the end and it's just like in clusters This is my favorite style of lash overall um, from any lash brands. This is just slaying Which again is Pretty much my favorite lash style. So yeah, I'm um, I just got a bunch of lashes and then I got glitters I'm really excited about the glitters that I got so let me just I should have took them out the packaging There's always tons of glitters being sold there's always like Lit and Violet Voss, you know, a bunch of stands that sell glitters, but I really love the Violet Voss glitters. I already have some, and I these are some of my favorites because I have glitters from Inglot, from Ben Nye, from, I have glitters from, I have Lit, I have glitters from like different brands, and I have to say, I think the Violet Voss is like one of my favorites, so... I wish they would expand their color range because now I think I own every single color. Up the shades Rosalind, Siren Fantasy, Unicorn Party, and Rosé. Pretty turquoise green glitter. A beautiful red glitter. I've been dying for a red glitter. Rosalind, which is just a really pretty rose gold. And then Unicorn Party, which is just like a multi-glitter with different colors. Really, really pretty. That's all I got from Violet Voss because the other thing I wanted, they didn't have in stock. They had sold out the day before. During IMATS, Violet Voss um, released their new um, highlighter. It's like a liquid highlight and they released a highlighting glow mist, like an illuminating spray. And I really wanted the illuminating spray and it sold out. So I didn't get to get High Peach. So I didn't get to get my illuminating spray. I was really upset about that. And I didn't want the highlighter um, drop, like the liquid highlight, because I just got the Marc Jacobs Dew Drops. And I have so many that I feel like it would have just been a waste for me. It would have sat so there. The very first booth that I went to at IMATS was Makeup Forever. That was like the first place on my list. That was the first place I knew I wanted to go. Um, just because I love the Makeup Forever Starlit Liquids and the powders. So I wanted to get all the colors and... Instead of getting them at Sephora, I thought I'd get them here at a discount. Um, Makeup Forever always has really good discounts at IMATS. 
So I wound up picking up one of their palettes. This is the large um, palette. I already put my shadows in there. These are my Makeup Forever shadows. So I wound up getting this palette and then I got two of the Starlet liquids. These are the ones that I wanted that I was missing. I got 03 and 04. One is just a really pretty gold and the other is like a peachy golden pink. So that's what they look like. These are so beautiful. I am obsessed with them. So I was talking to a girl at that booth and she was saying how they are featuring something new at IMAX. It was it hasn't been released or talked about yet. And it is called the Aqua Color Paint. It's an extra long-lasting waterproof shadow. So it's pretty much a cream shadow. And I did use this on my eyes today. This is in the shade L30, which is just an olive green. Like I said, I used this today and this product is amazing i so regret not getting more i got one other shade i can't find it right now though um it's like a really pretty pinky like a pearly pink shade i regret not getting all of them these are so good um i don't know if they're out yet if they're coming or when they're coming out but these cream shadows are serious they do not budge once they dry down they dry down matte but they're so easy to work with and blend out and they have such good pigmentation that you don't really have to put a shadow on top i didn't even put a shadow on top of them this is the only thing that i have olive green on my eye i didn't even put a i didn't set it with a shadow nothing they're so pigmented and so good like just a dream to work with that's what the applicator looks like it's pretty much just like it's just a tube like that and I pretty much just squeeze a little bit out and then dip my brush. I definitely recommend these. I don't know if they're out. If they're out, get your hands on them during the VIB sale. I'm so mad at myself that I didn't get more. They had such pretty colors. They had brights and blue and yellow and turquoise. They had so many beautiful shades. I want them all. I'm so mad I didn't get more. Oh, they're so good. I found it. <laughs> this is an I-80. This is a beautiful pink champagne shade. I'll swatch this for you. Look at that freaking gorgeous do you guys see that a little bit goes such a long way look at that my entire hand is pink so my very next stop was morphe because i really just wanted the 35r palette which is their new palette that's going around that everybody's raving about so i did pick up the 35r but honestly i had already swatched a few and honestly they all look the same to me like all these shimmery coppers when I swatch them, they just, I don't know, they all look the same. Like, I feel like when you put them on the eye, they'll all look exactly the same. But, um, I guess they're different. I don't know. You get beautiful mattes here, and then you get beautiful coppers. You can really have, you know, it's pretty. <laughs> so I only got a few brushes for my kit. Because any brushes that I wanted for myself, I knew I wanted to go to a different booth, which we'll get to. But I did pick up the... R40, which is just a nice blending brush. These are all from the Rose Gold Collection. Let me take them out this plastic. So I picked up the R40, which is just a really nice blending brush. The R36, which is a really nice highlighting brush. The R31, which is just another highlighting brush. The R39, another blending brush, a crease brush. Lastly, the R37, which is just another um, blending brush. I just really needed a few more and like some new blending brushes in my kit, so I got those. And then lastly from Morphe, I got one of their um, lip creams. What is this? A cream lip polish, and I got it in the shade Ransom, which is just a pretty pinky um, nude shade. I'll swatch it for you guys. Mine as well. Mm, that's what it looks like. I don't know. People seem to like um, their glosses. So I thought I'd give one a try. So then I went over to the Lady Moss booth. Because I wanted to get some Coco lashes. And oops. I just got the style Dashin, Queen Bee, and Demi G. So this is Dashin. This is Queen Bee's. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen these before. And then Demi G, which I think are a new style that they have. And I got um, two of the Demi G. Then I made my way over to the Jouer booth because I already knew when I went. I had this on like top priority on my list. I really wanted to get the new rose gold highlight and the rose gold topper. Oh, they're gorgeous. This packaging is everything. Take a 
Look at this. Gorgeous. I should put some on now. And then I got the highlight. Okay, next up we have Melanie Mills Hollywood. I got the Gleam Body Radiance and I got it in rose gold. Um, this again was on my list because I've been wanting nice bronzing shimmery lotion for the summer for my legs, for my shoulders. I do have this on today so um, what do you guys think? If I did it before and after, you would see the difference. Trust me, this stuff works. So again, I got it in rose gold. I've actually been wanting this for a while. I almost ordered it online a few times, but I knew I was going to IMATS and I knew she would. I knew this booth would be there, so I just waited for IMATS. So that's what the rose gold one looks like, and it just gives you a beautiful, like rose gold glow. Pretty much what you see on my chest. I did add a little powder highlight on top, but. It does kind of like bronze you up and give you a highlight at the same time. So I'm really excited for that because that is like essential in the summertime when you have on shorts or you have on like tops and you just want to glow. You need that. Next I met my friend at IMAS and I don't know, he was going to the, he was at the NYX booth. So I just wound up getting one thing just because I was there. This is their new liquid highlighter and I got it in Away We Glow. This was the only thing I saw that I wanted really because I had placed the NYX order online, which I'll show you. So this is what it looks like. It's just in like that concealer tube and it has, oh wow, the doe foot is interesting. It kind of flares out. It's like a petal shape. Oh, this is pretty. Look at that. Very pretty. And this, I got it. I don't even know the shade. This is in the shade Daytime Halo. So again, this is the Away We Glow Liquid Highlighter in Daytime Halo. That is pretty. What? I'm excited for this. And then I went over to the Juvia's Place booth. Um, I pretty much have all their palettes already, but I don't have their eyeliner, and I really wanted their eyeliner. It was so cheap. I think this was like five or six bucks, and it comes with both of their highlighters highlighters eyeliners so it has both of their eyeliner pots and a brush and i really wanted to try these out especially the brush i don't know why i really wanted to try this brush out so it comes with a little double-sided angled and um, liner brush like a really thin tipped liner brush and then you get both of their liners in black and brown and the packaging is really pretty look at that it's rose gold you're not gonna be able to see and it's there you go and it just says juvia's in black very very pretty packaging i'm really excited to try these out because i hear good things when they gave you a free eyeshadow with purchase so that was really nice of them even though that booth no shade to juvia's place i love their stuff and oh look at that that's pretty oh that would be a nice face highlight oh i think i'm gonna use this as a highlight this is in the shade kemet so like i was saying um i was very I don't know the customer service there was not the best they were i understand they were busy they had a long line everybody wants juvia's palettes now they're really popular and they're really good and they are they're amazing quality and for the price point you just can't beat it but they just like rushed you through they like come on come on let's go let's go one single file line single, like they were like very like aggressive and like just rushing you like you couldn't really swatch anything they were like okay you like just like pushing you through just to get the line down and to get everybody through and i don't know like i get it you know you, you want to like minimize the traffic and you know get the line down and stuff but i just i don't know i was really turned off by that and i just wanted to get out of there because it was just too rushed and i just i don't know then lastly I went to Smith brushes because I just wanted to pick up a few brushes for myself by this time I had already spent way too much money so I only got three of the like seven that I wanted but um I got the 112 which is a really beautiful um, like more pointed tapered brush I'm gonna use this for highlighting um, this might be nice for contour too so I don't know I might use it for that as well again this is the 112 and then I got two blending brushes. I got the 230 and the Smith 235. So this is the 230. It's just a really small pointed blending brush. And the 235, which is a little, which goes more to a point shape, like a little triangle shape at the top. So this is, I just got, so I just got those two brushes. That is it. That is everything I got at IMAX. 
Um, but I'm going to show you my other stuff. Um, that week or the week of IMATS, I had placed a Tarte order because Tarte was having their friends and family sale and they were having 30% off. And I pretty much knew that's what IMATS was going to be. So I said, you know what, let me just skip the line at IMATS and just order online since I wanted a few things anyway. I'd rather just order online, get it to my house, and I get the same discount rather than wait on that long ass line for Tarte. So that's what I did. I placed my order. I got the Tarte glitter liner in rose gold all these things i knew i wanted because i had swatched them at sephora and and i was really impressed especially by this rose gold glitter liner oh, so pretty i'm gonna show you guys so one side is the liner and the other side is more of So one side is a glitter liner and the other is just more of like a shimmery rose gold liner. That's the liner. So pretty. I also really wanted this. This is their Spellbound Sprinkle. This is their face and body glitter. And I love the packaging of this line. So pretty. This is what it looks like. It's pretty small and it's just a... Let me swap. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see, but it's just um, that like cream shimmer right there. This would be so pretty on the chest. I should have worn this today. And then I picked up the Quick Dry, the matte lip paint. Ooh. And I got it in the shade Festival, which is so pretty. Again, I love these kinds of shades. These like pink, like dusty pink shades. So that's what it looks like. It reminds me a lot of like Dose of Color Stone. I just love these kinds of shades on me. And then lastly, I got their highlight in Stunner. It's their Amazonian clay highlight. That's Stunner. So I also recently placed a online order with NYX because I had like a 30% off coupon or something. I got their dual chromatic illuminating powder in... This is in Synthetica. It's just what it looks like. And it's, it's interesting because it looks really orange, but when you put it on... It has like this golden sheen do you guys see that it like reflects from like gold to orange this would be a beautiful blush topper and a beautiful highlight on deep skin tones oh my God. then I got the NYX sweet cheeks blush palette this is raved about on YouTube and I really wanted to try it out so that's what it looks like I love blush so I had to have this and I've already played around with this and I really like it and then lastly, this is new to their line. This is the No Filter Blurring Primer. And this is interesting because it just ha it looks like a foundation. Like when you squeeze it out because it's pretty liquidy and it's flesh tone. So it looks like a foundation. Like that's the primer. It does feel very smoothing and blurring like... Even on your hand, you can see the difference between my lines on my hands. Like, this is definitely more blurred. So, oh, you can see that on camera. See that? Um, it feels really nice. So, I'm excited to try that out and see how I like it. Also online, um, I picked up the Benefit Cheek Parade. And I got it online at Benefit.com just because they were having a promo. I think it was like 20 or 25% off while they were all on vacation. If you use one of the um, the influencers code, like Manny or Patrick or Laura Lee, um, so you got like 25% off or 20, no, 20% off, I think. So that's why I picked this up because I, I already knew I wanted it. I was going to get it at Sephora, but I figured I'd get a discount. And it is really, really pretty. I've already pay, played with um, California, and this shade is beautiful. The gold overspray, I already took it off because I've been using it. It's so pretty. I love Rockateur. I already know I love Rockateur because I have it. I own it in the single, and it's one of my favorites. I hit pan on it, actually. That's why I didn't mind getting it as a double. I don't own Hula or um, Dandelion in a full size, like, separately. So that's why this was a good deal for me because I don't own most of these blushes. And this is their brand new Hula Light, which I really wanted to try out. So I picked that up, and this packaging, oh, God, it's beautiful. Okay, so now we're going to move on to Sephora. I picked up the new Marc Jacobs bronzer. This is the coconut bronzer. This is what it looks like. And I really just wanted to show you guys this because it is pretty much an exact dupe to Benefit's Hula. So I just wanted to share that with you guys in case, you know, you didn't get your hands on it or you're thinking about it and you already have Hula. You might not need this because 
it's the same thing i'm going to swatch them next to each other now so that is it on my middle finger and now i'm going to swatch hula fantastic and that's benefits hula so they're very close dupes and then i picked up the kevin aquan lip pencil in medium and i've been wearing this non-stop since i got it i love this this is very similar to like you know like a mac strip down or subculture it's like one of those brownie neutral shades after IMATS, we stopped at Sephora and I got the um, Ole Henriksen Sheer Transformation. The reason I went back to this, this is like an old faithful of mine. I decided to go back to it because my skin lately has been acting up. So I kind of want to go back to basics and what I know worked for me like for the longest. So um, my skincare right now is very minimal because I'm trying to get rid of this little breakout that I'm having. Um, you can't really see it on camera. I did a good job covering it with concealer and foundation. But this area right here is breaking out and it's like ridiculous i also picked up this is um a new brand to sephora this is the brand stellar this is an eclipse that's what it looks like so it feels so smooth and velvety it's just so creamy it almost feels like a cream that's it swatched and then how beautiful is that in the summertime when I'm 10, these shades look so good on me. And then lastly, I just picked up two brushes. I got these for my kit. Um, I already told you guys about this brush for my lower lash line. I've been loving it. This is the Sephora number 15. I mentioned this in a favorites video, how much I love it. So I had to pick up another one for my kit. And then also for my kit because I've been struggling with to find a good lip brush. Like, I have so many. I have some from like... I got an eye mat a while back. I think it was like Royal and Land Nicole or something. And then I have the MAC lip brush. And I have another one that I usually use in my kit on clients. But I just, I don't know. They weren't doing it for me. Like I feel like I don't get the, like I just feel like I don't get the precision that I want. Especially with liquid lipsticks with those brushes. So I really wanted something that came to a sharp point. So this is the Sephora Pro Angled Lip Brush in 84 and it is amazing it is just it's really long it comes to a really nice tip this is perfect for liquid lipsticks like for carving out that cupid's bow like i can line a client's lip perfectly with this i know because i've already used it i had a client yesterday I went to a wedding and i used a liquid lipstick and i used this brush and it came out so good it was just so easy like i just it took two swipes for the bottom i was done and the cupid's bow came out perfect like i lined the lips perfectly and it has a lot of surface space so I was able to get the liquid lipstick on her lips so quick and easy. This brush is just really good. I'm glad I picked it up because I needed this. Like, I, this is what I was missing. Like, this, this is what I was missing. So, okay, guys. So, that is it for my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you want to see any looks or you want me to use anything in a video or review anything, just let me know down below in the comments and I'll do that for you guys. So, again, thank you for watching and I'll see you all in my next one. Bye, guys.